Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! We're outside the live oak. <laughs> Hello! Uh, yes. Look at this, look at this tree. Yeah, this, look up, look to the sides. If this doesn't say we're in the south, I don't know what does. So this is a live oak. Oaks. I, I never knew what these were called. Oaks keep their leaves through the winter. So you can see the, the green. I guess all these are oaks then. No, no, the live oak. So this is a specific breed of oak mm. called the live oak. Uh, which guys this name because it keeps its leaves. Uh, but this has like these, you know, broad branches. And uh, so, I mean, these are all over golf courses around here. And uh, it's, to me, it's, it's a classic plantation style architecture, you know, landscape tree. Uh, and I love the Spanish moss that's hanging off there. Yeah, it's cool. I didn't realize that Spanish moss was its own living thing. Until? Until I read it in the placard. Oh, I thought you were talking to me about Spanish moth, uh, moss like a month ago. I was, because was, I was in Florida. I just didn't know that it was an entirely other plant species. Uh huh. I didn't know what it was. Now I do. Now you do. All right, so we're on Battlefield Road. And this is just a picnic area. The, mo the fences when we first came into the park uh, actually signified some of the battle lines. These fences don't do that. And the park is in, I guess, pretty good shape. Yeah. I mean, obviously this fence is new. New, so new it smells good. Yeah, let's open it back up uh, when we get somewhere else. All right. Hey, uh, comments from anybody who is a Civil War buff. Um, my understanding, quickly before we turn this off, is uh, Blakely, the, t the, the battle for Blakely, when the Confederates lost, this was like the last stronghold before Mobile. And so Mobile fell like immediately or, you know, with pretty quickly thereafter. Um, that's all I kind of know. Next time we will talk a little bit more about Blakely as a town, so tune in. But if you guys are, anybody out there is a Civil War person and can shed more light on the battles here and things like that, we'd love to see it in the comments. All right, talk to you later.